Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you for joining me again. I am very excited to give you this week's update. So this is week six on the Cambridge weight plan and um, my weight loss this last week was 1.5 kilos. So that's three pounds and I feel like this helps me reach a big target because even though I do normally weight myself in kilos and that's how I track it. Um, for those of you who care to uh, measure this in pounds and therefore in stones, that means that I have now managed to lose a whole two stones since I started six weeks ago. So that is super exciting news. I am very happy with that progress. If somebody would have told me um, uh, six weeks ago that I would be 12 and a half kilos lighter, two stones lighter, I would not have believed it. And I am super delighted and happy with the results. So um, it will be a quick update this week, but I guess the, the one thing that I did want to share with you, for those of you who are doing this um, and that are going through the same program or through a, a weight loss of your own, is that, um, I mean, I already knew this, uh, uh, but sometimes you just need to remind yourself of some things that are kind of obvious. But here you go, here's my moment. So um, with the Cambridge weight plan, they recommend that whilst you're doing um, the first step where you are replacing all of your meals with products that you do not exercise. Now, for somebody like me, exercise is something that I have postponed and avoided doing as much as possible. Um, and the most I've ever done is walk my dog. So um, the reality is that even walking my dog, my, my lungs have been getting smaller or they have been getting shorter. Um, but I've, I've not really done anything different than I would normally do on a day to day basis. However, this week, uh, I uh, have to say that I'll confess I was weighing myself pretty much every single day. And I just wanted to see what the evolution was on a day by day basis. And most of the week, I was a tiny bit disappointed because when I jumped on the scales, it just said 100 grams or some days it stayed the same. Um, and first of all, what am I doing? Weigh myself every day because it's just crazy to do that to yourself mentally and like in terms of psychologically from a weight loss point of view. So hands up. Um, but I hadn't done as much activity. I stayed working from home because my husband needed my car to go to work and I would have the flexibility of work from home from time to time. So I stayed at home, um, which meant I didn't get out as much. I didn't walk as much as I normally do when I go to work and, um, and therefore I wasn't as active. So I could definitely see that that was reflecting in the weight loss on a day by day basis because it was like 100 grams or nothing at all or maybe another 100 grams. And there just wasn't a big significant shift now from a kilo perspective I, again I'm not going to tell you what I weight um hopefully one day I will when I'm happy to share that but at this moment I don't need to um so but I felt like I wanted to go into the next stage of kind of like a big stage and it just was getting stuck in the way that I was at and I wasn't going past the point that I wanted I wanted to see the next number down and um and it's been driving me crazy anyway between one thing and another, the whole week was pretty, pretty passive, pretty kind of uh, sedentary. Um, and then yesterday I did get back into the office and went to work. I met a friend for lunch and both of us are trying different weight loads of our own. So instead of either sitting at my desk and continuing working like I normally do, or just going for lunch and just having lunch or a coffee or whatever, or both coffee and cake that I would have done in the past, this time round... I just, um, we met, uh, we had our individual meals, she brought her food, I had my bar, and then we went for a walk at lunch. So it was actually so nice, because for once, even though the weather here in the UK at the moment, this summer is not a summer, it's like a cloudy kind of in-between type of period, um, but the weather was just sunny in that kind of half an hour that we went for a walk so it was so nice to get out of the office go for a walk around we had a little bit of greenery around the office so I was able to enjoy being outdoors go back home and then when we got home we had dinner um, and uh, we took our dog for a walk again so we did uh, a bigger walk in the evening and then all of the sudden between one day and another yesterday I went myself no movement this morning I went myself I saw 
big a movement that I had seen the whole week, which is amazing. So I'm finally in the next kind of level down. That will be part of the weight loss that is taken into account for week seven when I go and weight myself formally by my consultant. Um, but I guess the net net of everything I've just been ranting on about is that whilst you're not supposed to exercise, please find a way to keep active because clearly building activity, just gentle, 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 gentle walking. Don't strain yourself too much. You're only surviving on 800 calories a day. So you don't have a huge amount of energy to spare. But if you go on a walk, you build your walks, try to time it so that it's after you have had one of your products. So you've got a bit more energy, but not straight after you've had it. Give your stomach half an hour or so and then go for a walk. Um, and you will definitely feel the, the benefits from that coming through. Now, um, I was reflecting on my progress today, given that I feel like two stones is a bit milestone and it's also time for, for taking stock of where you're at and how much you have accomplished so far. And whilst I recognise that I still have a long way ahead of me, um, let me try to put the picture somewhere in here where I can show you my before uh, or my, uh, my photo at the start of the programme and my photo right now. And the difference is massive. I mean, my face has gone down so much. Um, I've got a lot more jaw definition. Granted, my glasses are slightly different. And for some reason, they always come out wonky when I'm taking pictures. So maybe that's the way they are all the time. Um, but it's just amazing to see to see the definition. Actually, it was great doing that. Because when I was um, getting ready this morning, I uh, I was looking at my face and I was thinking, okay, I know that as you go down, you'll have different phases. And just when I feel like my double chin is going, um, it feels like it comes back again. So I've lost weight from different areas. And as you go down, your body will readjust. So things that you think have gone will seem to just stick out again. But that's because you're in the next level down of the weight reduction that you need to have. It's the same with my belly. So I feel like I have... Uh, lost quite a lot from just under my chest which means that my lower belly kind of sticks out a bit more um, but that's part of the the beauty of it I have definitely gone down at least one dress size if not one dress size and a half maybe two because um, I was nearly bursting out of the clothes that I have before I started so I think I was probably a size higher than I actually was wearing um, but just kind of pushing myself to stuffing myself into the clothes I had. Um, and now I am fitting nicely into uh, a transitional size somewhere in between. So I am very much, um, very much happy with the progress, very much happy with the results. And, um, you know, I hadn't appreciated what a big difference walking does. So in the next few days, I'm going to make an effort to do a lot more walking. Clearly, I'm not going to go crazy and go on. A massive big hikes because uh, I don't think that's what you're supposed to do but I will definitely try to build more walks and then see whether that does something from a, an accelerating the uh, the weight loss um, it will be interesting to see so my average weight loss every week um, I think is about a kilo and a half um, now that it's settled after the, the initial big weight loss so I'm quite happy with a kilo and a half um, you know that's about six kilos a, a month which is around the, the stone mark. Um, I'm definitely very happy with that. Long may that continue. I do want to keep that up. And I think walking and, and kind of starting to be more active will be instrumental from, from this point onwards because I am also very conscious that the more I lose, the more difficult it will become to lose the weight because it will be less to go from. Now I'm a bit of a way away from that. I still have loads to lose. So I think um, for the next two months or so, I should still be able to keep a, a good pace and I would be aiming for a stone a month. Um, but the reality is that it's not going, going to go away by itself and a little help is always good. So a little bit of walking will definitely do the trick for me. Anyway, that's everything I wanted to share with you. I'll keep you updated of how the walking is going. I'll keep you updated of how, um, how I'm getting on. And I am thinking of getting a few more products for um, next week. So maybe I can do a little bit of a product review. Let me know if you want to hear about that or if there are any other topics you would like me to cover. So uh, looking forward from hearing from all of you. Thank you for stopping by and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Thank you, bye.